Hello, in this video, you will learn about block cipher and stream cipher. So, as you can see here in cryptography, we have trick cipher and asymmetric cipher. In symmetric cipher, it is further divided into two parts that is, block cipher and stream cipher. Stream cipher were invented by Burnham in 1917. So, let's see what is block cipher and what is stream cipher. In case of stream cipher, it encrypts bits individually that is one bit at a time here bit has single binary value that can be either zero or one and in case of block cipher here it will encrypt full block that is one block at a time now the plain text is divided into blocks and one block is encrypted at a time and it will produce a cipher text of equal length so you can see the difference between stream and block cipher. In case of stream cipher, it will encrypt one bit at a time and bit is here 0 or 1. So we will encrypt here bit by bit. In case of block cipher, we will divide the plain text into blocks and then we will encrypt it one block at a time. For example, here suppose we have a plain text. So this example is for stream cipher. Suppose we have a plain text P100. This plain text is in SCI format. So the text format we used here is SCI. When you will try to convert the SCI format character to binary values, you will convert character by character. So for each character, there is seven bits. So assume for simplicity, we will assume that's the translation of the plain text because in reality that would be much larger so for simplicity we will consider that is the binary values for the plain text as you will try to encrypt each character so it will it would be much larger so for simplicity just consider this is the binary format we got for this plain text simple so we have plain text p100 and that's the binary format we assumed for this plain text for the encryption we are using here xor logic so we will apply xor logic on the plain text as a encryption algorithm hope you know how this work here xor is quite simple you can see when the both input is 0 or both input is 1 then we have output 0 when one input is 0 another is 1 you can see the output is 1 done here you can see we have plain text in the text format p100 and that's the binary format this one and here we are using a key you can see for each bit you can see we have value now we will apply here xor logic for encryption so you can see here how XOR logic work when both input is 1 then we will got 0 when one input is 0 another is 1 you will got 1 so that's how stream cipher works one bit at a time is encrypted now we will see block cipher so okay that's the another example of the stream cipher when you will apply XOR logic twice you will reduce the it will produce the original data. Suppose we have two binary numbers 101 and 110. Apply. Now we want to we want to compute the value for C. That you can do via A XOR B and you will got value for C is 011. Now again when you will perform C XOR A or C XOR B the same value that is 101 you can see here. Now we will see block cipher. Block cipher will divide the plain text into blocks after that it will encrypt one block at a time so we have a plain text pose 4 and 4 now we will divide this into blocks you can see here 4 and 4 so we will it will encrypt one block at a time so you can see it suppose that's the cipher text we got for each block and after decryption you will got this again so you can see the difference between block cipher and stream cipher in case of block cipher 
you can see the whole block is encrypted at a time and in case of stream cipher we were doing encryption bit by bit so block cipher is most often used in computer based cryptographic algorithm as compared to stream cipher because stream cipher is time consuming and we will use block cipher as compared to stream cipher in the different cryptographic problems so that's all about this you can see here we have stream and block cipher stream cipher will encrypt one bit at a time and it will encrypt one block at a time so that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching